My name is Timmy and I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture and thanks so much for joining me here tonight live for some fun DIY projects featuring Chalk Couture products. Tonight we are going to get inky. So if this is your first time watching, welcome. Be sure to say hi when you come on in and um, let us know where you're hailing from. It's always fun to get a sense of where everybody is from that's watching. I would love it if you love this project or love DIY home decor ideas and inspiration that you be sure to like my page. That way you'll get notified when I go live. Um, my plans these days are to try to go live every Tuesday and Thursday at least um, at 7.30 tonight. Hey Debbie, welcome. So you can generally catch me then, but if I... Um, pop on and add a new one in, be sure that you get notified when I go live by just liking my page. That's all it takes. Um, if you have some friends that you think might enjoy this as well, feel free to sprinkle and share the love. That's always a wonderful thing as well. And um, hey, I'm super excited. Thanks, Margaret. Welcome. How is it where you are? Is it crazy? Is it cold? Did it get better? Today it hit like 40 degrees here in Connecticut. So, um, we're gearing up for the next storm, of course, like probably the whole rest of the other the country is, right? But today was not too bad. Hey, Linda, welcome. Nice to have you here, my friend. It's so good to see you. So today, as I said, we are working on some pillow covers. And Linda, I think you're going to be really happy because I know you are a farmhouse design lover. And I got to say, that's one of my faves as well. I do a lot of farmhouse style work and I love that we have so many awesome farmhouse style options um, in Chalk Couture. And tonight we are going to work on a pillow using that gorgeous farmhouse tile. So if this is your first time watching, welcome. Be sure to introduce yourself. Hey Tammy, nice to see you my friend. So good to be all together, even when we can't really be all together, right? Isn't it fun? Um, so let me show you a little bit about um, what we have here in front of us, and then we're just going to dive right in and, and get this baby going, because it's going to be a really easy and fast project, and maybe we'll even do two. I know, Tammy, I'm with you. I totally love Farmhouse, too, and there's some really great ones. We have a whole new... Um, collection of transfers and when Chocotro puts together um, these collections they um, put them together with a thought of you being able to mix and match them and use them however you'd like and so today we're going to use as I said the farmhouse tile if you were watching me um, last week you saw that we used this on a little tray and let me see if I can find that tray here for you, what I do with it. Ah. So we had kind of decorated a found surface that, oh, it's upside down, here we go, um, that we had and we used the word welcome from the welcome star tile. And then I had these cute little knobs left over. Yay, I'm so glad you caught me live. Hey, Edie from Canada. Oh my goodness, it must be crazy chilly up there, right? Um, so this is the one that we did and we played around with. So it's the same transfer we're gonna use, but this time we're gonna be using it on a pillow cover and we're gonna be using our inks. So let me know, have you all seen or tried our inks before? Um, if you have, I'd love to hear what you've created, what design you use, so let me know. I have a couple things here on my desk surface. Now, I always have my self-healing work mat. I use this to work on all the time. It just protects my desk. I can put my transfers on it, and it doesn't stick. It doesn't cut. It cleans up really nice, so I love having it. The other um, tool that I have is our ink mat, which... Um, I think are awesome to use when we are using our inks. And the reason for that is 
They come in two sizes. This one big one that's perfect for our um, square pillow covers, which we're going to be using. And then we also have this oblong one, which is really great for our lumbar pillowcases. Either one can be great for t-shirts um, or sweatshirts. Um, or tea towels is really great on this size one. So you can really chalk on lots of, or, or ink really, on lots of different surfaces. I have my lumbar pillowcase and, oh, on the kitchen towels. Margaret, what design did you use? Do you remember? And then I have my square pillow cover. Now, um, if you're wondering, um, today was a, a wonderful day at Chalk Couture because we released a bunch of new products. Um, some awesome new paste and um, paste colors, some gorgeous summer shades and shimmers. And we also restocked a bunch of things, including our ink mats, which have been out for a while, and a bunch of ink colors. So um, be sure to check it out on my site if you want to see what's available and in stock. I have three colors out here in front of me. And um, what I'm doing as we're chatting here is I'm actually just getting the ink mat inside our pillow cover. Now there's a couple of reasons why I love these ink mats. One is that it's going to protect the other side um, so that if there's any bleed through, it'll happen on the mat and not on the other side of my pillowcase where I don't want it. And you'll see that I'm smoothing this down and that's because the ink mat itself has actually got an adhesive, so it'll keep my pillowcase nice and flat. As you can see, I took this right out of the package. I did not iron it um, before I used it. And, and I think that's one of the reasons why I like the ink mats too, is because of the adhesive. I don't really have to. I can smooth it out and it smooths out all the wrinkles too. So and then once I'm done, we're gonna iron this to heat set this ink. So it saves me a step, I love it. Um, so Tammy, you haven't tried it yet, but I know you're anxious too. The three colors I have out are Storm, which is a really beautiful, of course, farmhouse, right, gray, that's really pretty. One of my faves is this Marvelous. Um, so this is kind of a, like a nice, kind of light pink, dusty rose. And they go really nice together, don't you think? And then the other color I have here is Pesto. And I have some green in my house where I want to put these, and I kind of think that the green will be really fun to add into this. Um, and my thought is that I'm going to use the Storm with the tile. And then on my lumbar pillowcase, I have our Farm Charm word. And look at all these cute little animals. Aren't they sweet? You can do like little stackables. That would be really fun. But I think this I'm going to do um, with a combination of the pink, which is the marvelous, and the gray, and then use the pesto a little bit for that. So that's my plan. So those are the supplies I have. The other thing that I have here is um, an angled squeegee. So you can see this has all different edges. This is actually our old one. I don't know if I have a new one open. We just updated the angle squeegee a little bit. So let me show you what that looks like. I think I have one over here. And it actually looks a little bit different. So this was the old angled squeegee. This is the new one that we have. So you can see this one actually has some better surface area than this one. It's got this big long area and this big side here. So I'm going to open it. Don't you think? I think we should try that. You no, know, Margaret, isn't it cute with the farm animals? I love the, um, the patterns in them. Of course, you know I love patterns, right? I'm totally into the whole pattern thing. So this is, like I said, it's called the angled squeegee. And so you can usually use it for anywhere. This is really awesome. The other thing that just came out today, by the way, um, is our brand new handled squeegee. This is the old one we had, and it's a little bit firmer than the new one that came out. The new one is more like these um, squeegees that we currently have. They have a little bit more flexibility, so, and it's got a really nice soft handle. So that came out today, too, in the product release. So lots of good things. 
Uh, later on this month, we'll have one more product release. And those will be some really awesome new surfaces. Um, amazing surfaces. If you haven't seen them yet, um, hop over into my Style Innovators group, my VIP group, because I posted some, or I will be posting some information about those new releases and those new shapes. There's some really awesome ones. All right, so I have just taken the transfer out of the plastic it comes in, and it comes on also this bow backer sheet. So we're just going to peel off the transfer off the backer sheet, and it's really sticky because we want our transfer to go sticky side down onto the surface that we're going to be chalking, or in this case, inking. And this will help keep it firmly in place. So between our ink mat, underneath or in between our pillow, and the adhesive that is on our transfer, we're going to end up with a beautiful, clean transfer of the design. So I am just using my hands to make sure that this is stuck down to the pillow cover. So I'm rubbing it pretty good. And when we use our inks instead of the chalk paste that we're used to using, um, when we heat set this with an iron, we're going to make that ink permanent, meaning that you'll be able to wash this pillow cover right in your washing machine and dry it. So I think, it's always really hard to see, I think we've got this pretty well covered. So you can see that this size transfer, which is what we call a size D transfer, fits perfectly on our square pillowcase. Perfect, like it was made for it. I think it was. <laughs> All right, so we are going to use our storm gray. So here you go, that's the storm gray. And I did give this a quick stir, but I'm gonna grab one of my stir sticks here and give it another quick stir just to make sure it's all set to go and there's no globs or goops. I'm also gonna use this um, to start spreading the ink. We're gonna make this really simple and make it all one color. I noticed that I just went a little bit past that because I wasn't being careful. So as you are working, just pull your ink over your design. Now it's the first time for me using this new angled squeegee. So we'll see how we like it. I like that it's given me a nice amount of coverage. I have to say, normally when I create, I tend to like to um, stand up. So I'm gonna change our view here for just a second. So I can stand up and work just to make sure I'm getting my enough leverage here. Can see a little better when I stand up. I don't know about you. When you guys create, do you do so standing up or do you do so sitting down? What's your preference? I never realized how much I really liked standing while I was creating. <laughs> uh, until I go live and then I realize when I'm sitting, I'm like, I want to stand. So what's nice about this angle squeegee I'm finding is that it really does allow me to get into the grooves. Now if you don't have an angle squeegee, a small squeegee will absolutely do the trick. So here we go. Yeah, the bottom right does look like it's bubbling. I'm gonna, when I get down there, I am going to smooth that out. So we're gonna work just a little bit at a time and that way I can be sure that I won't have any bubbles there. Now you'll notice that I didn't, and I kind of like this, I have to say I kind of like this, I have a little more control with the small squeegee. Gotta say, I kind of like that better. 
because I like, as my husband says, I like to be in control. <laughs> he knows that about me. I know it about me too. Kind of have that way. So yes, yeah, so you can definitely use your hands to hold it down if you need to, to give it a little extra. If your surface is smooth, in other words, if you had taken the time to iron it like I didn't, that also makes for a smoother transition. So you can do that as well. And I am just dipping in and putting in a little bit of ink at a time. Now if you use a larger squeegee, the benefit is, is that you can kind of move a little more quickly. But there isn't really any big need to move quickly when you use our inks. Um, and now with our new chalk paste formula, this is also true. You don't have to hurry. It is not going to dry on you before you are ready to remove your transfer. So take your time. Enjoy the process, right? Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, Tammy. Standing is definitely the way to go. The way to go. So you can see I'm just using my hands just to make sure that when, before I go over it with my squeegee, that we've got a nice adherence here. Like you said, you kind of move a little bit more slowly when you've got a smaller squeegee, but there's no real reason to rush. And that way you can take your time and make sure there's no air bubbles. and work this ink into the fabric. Now, when you're using ink, I have to say that, you know, the ink is gonna soak up its fabric that we're working on. So don't be surprised if you need to use a, a bit more. Start with a little and add more as you go if you need to. That way you can really ensure you won't have any bleed through. Now, one of the other things that I have to say that I kind of like about farmhouse designs in general is that I think the best ones look the best when you're not super perfect. So if you have a lighter spot, perfect. It's all right, right? Um, now, what I didn't tell you, and I'm not sure that I will do today, but um, you can absolutely ink both sides of this canvas pillowcase. So both sides are um, available. And once one side is dry, you can start working on the other side. Now let's talk about the heat process. Um, if you've used our chalks before, or our inks before, excuse me, you probably know this, but if you don't, let me just quickly explain the process. And if you want me to send you um, the information in writing, just put in um, ink instructions and I will send you um, the details but basically what we want to do is once we finish the design and we pull back the transfer we're going to let this dry until it's um, kind of tacky to the touch you can wait overnight if you want you can um, just wait you know I don't know half hour and it should be depending on the size of the um, pattern or design that you're putting on will depend on how long it takes to dry, but thereabouts, kind of give it a half hour um, or overnight for best results. And then um, once it's at least tacky to the touch or dry, then um, what you want to do is you want to grab some parchment paper and with the parchment paper, you're going to put that on top of your inked design and then grab an iron and with your iron, uh, you are going to slowly rotate your iron over the ink surface for four minutes. By doing so, you have will have heat set this design and it will then be permanent. So it's really until you do that um, that it becomes permanent. So you can potentially, if you need to, fix any mistakes, although it does get tricky, I'll be honest with you, when you're working in fabric to fix any mistakes. So 
beads and flowers and sequins and ribbon are all your friends if <laughs> you need to really fix the boo-boos right you know me i'm always looking for ways to fix boo-boos sandpaper and usually i use when i'm working on wood surfaces that's one of my boo-boo corrections <laughs> Yes, I'll be happy to send you guys those ink instructions. You got it, no problem. Um, we have a FAQ available to us that I will send to you. All right, we are almost at this bottom corner. And that was the bottom corner, Tammy, that I think you saw that you thought was bubbling a little. So you can see, just as we're working slowly enough, we're gonna be able to make sure that if there were any bubbly spots that we took care of them just by kind of working slowly there. Sorry, I know I took my face off so you're not seeing me, just the project, but since this is taking up so much space, we'll continue to let the project take center stage. Then we'll go ahead and let me change out our other design. I'll show my face again, how's that? So if you're coming on in and you're watching and you're seeing me live, again, welcome. It's great to have you here. If you are watching the replay, be sure to put hashtag replay in and tell us where, where you're watching in from. Um, I'd love to say hello. This is a great little community of folks that we have here and we love welcoming new folks when they join us. So if you've been watching me for a while and you see a few newbies in, <laughs> be sure to say hello to all of our new friends as well. If you're not yet a member of my VIP group, that's my Style Innovators group. Um, I, that's my VIP group and it's kind of my special place where I can share some special tips and tricks and techniques. Um, it's also where I can offer some specials and deals. So if you want in on that, just go ahead and type in VIP in the comments. If you're not already a member, I'll be sure to add you or send you the link so you can add yourself. There's no cost to join or anything like that. It's just kind of my place where I can share some updates before the general public and provide some special deals. I sometimes put bundled packages together. Um, so. Feel free to be on the lookout for that. And the, as you can see, this is really, it's a big design. It's a big pattern. It's using a decent amount of ink. And it's only really the areas where we're seeing the um, design or the, the pillowcase thro show through is where we need to put the paste. The green area is just the adhesive but there's so much here that it feels like I'm covering the whole design. It's because I probably am, right? We are almost there, almost there. Uh, Tammy, it's a great thing to be a newbie. I was a newbie once. I can't believe it's been three years since I first learned of Chalk Couture and signed up as a designer. When I first uh, signed up, I did so just because I really thought the products were super cool and honestly I wanted the discount. I thought 40% discount on products, yes that has my name written all over it and um, wow so much has happened between then and now. I started offering a few classes and um, people just fell in love with it. Of course I started going live and showing how you could use our products and people loved it. Um, I started to grow a team of uh, people who joined Chalk Tour with me, and now I do some training and support of them as they are working on pulling their business together. It's been a wild ride. I even, last year at this time, earned my very first incentive trip with Chalk Tour and went on a cruise before COVID hit. It was awesome. Um, great company. I really love um, the designer community that I got to be a part of when I became a designer myself. And uh, it's a wonderful way um, to either be a hobbyist and, and create some gorgeous projects that you're gonna decorate for your home or you can give as gifts, um, or even to start a business where you can sell products to others and do what I'm doing. But you know what? So many of us started 
just with the thought of doing it for ourselves. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you think that uh, you're really going to love these products and you're going to want to buy a lot of them, getting them at 40% off, why not? Hey, right? That's the deal. If you want to know about what it is to be a chalk couture designer and what's required, just go ahead and put in designer in the comments and I'll be happy to share that with you. Um, I am here to support you if you uh, want to do a business. I'm also here to support you to, to teach you techniques if you decide that you want to join as a designer and get the discount and be a hobbyist and just enjoy the products for yourself. I'm here to support you either way. So, <laughs> Linda, you're funny. We're almost done, Linda. Almost done. If you're not quite ready to jump right into the designer, but you really love this, don't forget about my awesome chalk club. It's a monthly program where you can get an exclusive design shipped to you each month for just $19.99. It's called Club Couture. And uh, I'd love to have you as a member. Got some great specials and deals going on for my members right now. All right, guys, here's the moment of truth. Are we ready? You can definitely see my bubbles because I didn't, um, did not, I was not very good girl. Because I didn't, look at how pretty that is already. And look, a little bit rustic in some spots. And as I said, that's my preference. I love that little rustic -y look. It's farmhouse, for goodness sake, right? We want it to be fun and rustic. Now, it's great if you're first watching me, this is the first time you've seen this. Look at how pretty that came out. Isn't that gorgeous? See? No worries with those bubbles, people. Um, these transfers are totally reusable. They can be used on all sorts of surfaces. You can use them with our inks. You can use them with our chalks. Doesn't matter. Um, and all they do is wash up with water. And then you can dry them off and then reuse them again and again. So there we go. There is our first one. What did you think of that one? Did you love it? Did you love it? I hope you loved it. That was really fun. I'm going to set that off and let it dry. Now I have a gray couch, so that's going to go really well on my gray couch. And now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers. I do not. So they don't want to transfer it if I don't have to. Yeah, I'm with you. Distressed vintage. That's all right up my alley. Matter of fact, one of the things I'm missing almost the most with all this craziness that we have had going on is going to flea markets. I love going to flea markets and finding um, some unique surfaces and items, right? And of course, we can't do any of that right now, but soon enough. All right, I'm back here in the corner. Okay, so this is the lumbar pillowcase. And like I said, a lot, a lot of this item, a lot of these items are right back in stock. So if you're looking for them. Now, this was actually a piece of one that I cut. It's a little shorter than the one that actually comes. I think the one I, the full one actually goes the whole length of the lumbar pillow. Um, this one I cut into smaller pieces to use when I was working on smaller surfaces. So just know that if you look at the lumbar pillowcase and you're wondering why the ink mat doesn't go all the way across, it's because... Yep, I think we're going to put that right in here. And my ink mat is there and there, so it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Tammy, I'd love to hang out. <laughs> oh, I have, a, I have a good friend of mine, Kate, who um, has been coming and doing the flea market thing with me. Um, have you heard of the, I'm sure you all have heard of the show Flea Market Flip, right? Well, that gets recorded, or televised, recorded, videotaped. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, Rhonda, welcome, my friend, our newest club member. So nice to have you here with us. Um, anyway, a lot of those episodes are taped in Connecticut um, at some of the pretty big flea markets, outdoor flea markets, antique markets that we have here. Okay, so here we go. Same thing, I'm just going to pat this down. And then these, um, 
Unlike when we're working on wood or chalkboard surfaces, do not need to be fuzzed when we're working on fabric. In this case, we're just going to use the word farm charm. And the one benefit of not having ironed this is I can see the crease where it was in the middle. <laughs> that makes it easier to line up, right? <laughs> All right. So as I said, in this case, we've got our um, storm that we were using. So it's going to coordinate with that. We also have our pesto, which is really pretty, and that pretty green, which we're going to use for this little piece right here. And then... We have our Marvelous. Look at how creamy and beautiful those are, right? So um, I think we're going to go farm gray, green, and then charm in the pink. It's not really pink, it's Marvelous, but you know what I mean. And it's always good to use a clean squeegee. And of course, you know, we have a bunch of squeegees for all the different kinds of areas that we are working on. So we've got our gray, which is called Storm, remember? And this one's gonna go super fast. And I love this size pillowcase. I um, often will just reuse pillows that I've had. I'll even sometimes go to um, some home stores and buy really ugly pillows <laughs> just for the stuffing inside. So, um, you know, or go to, you know, like a Salvation Army or a thrift store or something. And if you see a pillow that's got a nice shape, Buy it for the stuffing. Buy it for the fill, because they the fill sometimes can be pretty expensive. So it's a good way. I even have my sister and my daughter on the lookout for pillows that are inexpensive on clearance that they can get me that I can use and refill. <laughs> it's always good to have people on the lookout for you, right? For goodies. I have some customers who know that I always like to find unique surfaces that I can create on. I love our chocotour surface, but I love also kind of finding unique ones. And so since you can pretty much chalk on anything, it's really fun when my customers provide me with a new surface to try. I'm going to use kind of the little herder area and just get that excess off and we'll put it right back in the jar. Hmm. I need my lid. Oh, here it is. Got it all covered here. Um, if you need a hand wash, make sure you have some wipes nearby if you need it. Look at this beautiful pesto. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to use that for this. And then, of course, you know, always the best part is when you peel back and reveal the design. I don't know about you, but every single time I do it, it never gets old. It's always so pretty, and I'm always so happy and pleased with how it came out. So, you know, what's great about this is, you know, you can do these in whatever colors you love. The one that we show in the catalog is a beautiful blue. I think it might even be Cadet, which is a, kind of a darker blue. Um, and although I don't have any blues in my house, it made me want to go out and buy the chair that they showed in there because it was so pretty. <laughs> All right, and then the last one with our Marvelous. And then, my friends, we're going to be done. So remember, when we peel back this design, we just want to make sure that this ink has had a little time to um, set. So then you can go ahead and get out your parchment paper and your iron. If you have a heat press, you can definitely use that. I have a heat press. I love it. Um, makes really quick work out of that.
And these inks can be used on t-shirts. They can be used, as I said, on sweatshirts, tea towels, aprons. Um, you can also even use them on glass and ceramic and put them in the oven to heat set. So if you've got some, oh, you know what also would be really cute? And I think we show it on the cover of our um, catalog is um, a table runner. I don't know if you saw this. Did you see the table runner? If you look really closely, it's this design that we're using tonight that they use for the table runner. Super cute, right? All right. Looks like I see a couple little spots that I missed here on the gray and the end of the M, I think. So there we go. I'm going to fix that. Ooh. Then I just got ink all over my hands. Okay, and then here we go. We're going to peel back. Look at that. What do you think of the two colors together? I love with the little green piece. I think it's gonna look really pretty in my living room with my gray couch. So that's it, my friends. That is tonight's project. Super quick, super easy. And uh, once, as I said, this dries, we will go ahead and heat set it with our iron and it'll be all set to use. So I hope you enjoyed the project. Thanks, Linda. So glad to have you all here. Um, by the way, be sure that before you heat set it that you do remove your um, ink mat. So remove it before you heat set. Um, you don't have to do it right away, but you do want to do it before you um, heat set it with your iron. So don't forget, you don't want to put that in there and leave it in there. So that's it, my friends. Thanks, Margaret. Oh, I'm glad you guys liked it. It was so, so nice to see you all. If you have any questions or I can help you at all find the perfect project for your house, feel free to message me anytime. I'm happy to help. And um, I'm just going to grab a little sheet here and put my dirties right there. And before I close up my paste jar, I am going to grab my, not even my paste jar, my um, ink jar. I'm just going to grab a little, I don't want to do it over my thing here, so let me move this just so I don't make a mess. I'm just going to grab a little cloth here and clean off this edge. This will make sure that it stays. So there's only a little bit left in here, but I want to use every drop. Oh, Linda, you're so sweet. I am so glad that we met. Can't wait for you to get your, your Try Me kit and the little sample I sent you. Um, if you're watching and you're not quite sure what to get or how to get started, we do have some awesome Try Me kits available. And uh, if you'd like, I can even send you a little sample. So um, reach out to me and let me know how I can help you. I love being able to share Chalk and Shore and the um, beautiful, creative, and relaxing feel it gives you when you chalk. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. I will look forward to seeing you again, um, I hope, on Thursday. So until then, stay safe, stay warm, and have a wonderful day. Thanks, everybody. Bye.